is truly one of the most appalling things I have seen family vloggers do. Who wants to see one of the most appalling things I've seen a mom on TikTok do? POV, having to tell my daughter her father passed away. I know you didn't want me to see this video because you blocked me, which is fine. Everyone has a right to protect their peace and block whoever they want, including me. But you blocked me because you know, you know that this is exploitative and this is wrong. You filmed your own child as she reacted to news that her biological father passed away. Such a private and intimate detail of somebody's life that you chose to use as content and post without her consent on the internet. It's not just one video. It is a whole series. It's like five parts. And like, you didn't even show the reaction in this video. You essentially clickbaited your daughter's father's death. So people would come back for more in the video. Everyone's saying part two, part two. And don't get me wrong. People who are asking for part two to see the reaction of a, another human, a little girl, react to the death of her biological father. Like that's a whole nother thing. That's a whole nother wrong with the world that strangers online are invested and want to see how a child reacts to being told their father died? What is wrong with us as humans? Here in part five of the reaction video, because you've clickbaited it until you finally get to the reaction video, I definitely clipped it up to keep certain details private. All of this should be private. You should never use your child's raw emotions, intimate details, private details of their life for content on the internet. There is no justification and you are trying very hard to justify putting this on the internet, but there is no justification for this. And you say you're going off about trolls and they're all coming to the block party and things like that. My assumption is they're probably not trolls. And don't get me wrong. I don't believe and I don't condone trolling, bullying, hate, harassment. I don't condone any of that. But there is a good chance that those are just empathetic and compassionate people who believe children are autonomous human beings worthy of dignity, respect, privacy, and informed consent and feel what you are doing is absolutely unequivocally wrong. Shame on the mother for recording this and posting it publicly and being so proud of this virality, right? And also shame on society, shame on other adults who are using this child's real lived experience as a form of entertainment. What is wrong with us?